iPhone 7 Plus Jet Black unboxing. That's coming up right now. Let's go. So what is up guys, Nick here helping you to master your technology and welcome to the iPhone 7 Plus Jet Black unboxing 128 gigabyte. Now, I just wanna say thank you all for all your support on the channel. This iPhone is actually possible just due to the fact that everyone continues to like the videos, to share the videos, to just be totally supportive of this channel. And the only reason I picked this device up is to do content on it and test it against other iPhones as a lot of you requested to get the 7 or the 7 Plus. So I just wanted to say thank you all right out of the gate. And um, like I say, go ahead and drop all your comments, suggestions of videos you would like to see down below in the comment section it would be appreciated but with that being said let's get into the unboxing so m several months back I did a whole iPhone 7 playlist I did have the silver iPhone 7 the smaller edition and you can check them videos out I got those videos right up here in a card here's the playlist up here and I will have them down below in the description area as well here but right here I chose to go with the iPhone 7 jet black edition or you could say the unicorn edition um, not really a unicorn anymore because they're pretty much in stock everywhere now but I do have the 128 gigabyte model here you can see includes iPhone 7 plus ear pods with a lightning connector so no more lightning port on this baby lightning to headphone jack adapter lightning the usb cable and us power adapter and this is an unlocked model here for my device here so very nice packaging you know apple does it good here and you can see bang right there and it just slides right off there so there is the jet black box the special edition box you get here with the apple iphone 7 plus right here so it looks pretty good stuff there pretty nice there and on the front just a big picture we don't need to talk much more about that let's go ahead and reveal it here and you can see black casing there and the first thing you're going to see let me zoom in just a little bit here guys is you're going to see designed by apple in california so let me zoom back out just a little bit here we're going to pull the tab here and you can see what comes in here it's going to say welcome to iphone so you're going to get your welcome to iphone guides here and it's going to show you your sim card tool which is right there let me back out just a little bit the famous apple stickers that come with pretty much any iphone you've ever bought in the past and you can see right there bang so this guy right here is 869 dollars unlocked if you pay in full or if you buy it on contract you can get several pretty decent deals where you pay like 40 bucks a month on the phone and you can see here is the iPhone itself, jet black here. We'll peel those stickers off in just a minute here. But it looks very nice and it feels cold to the touch. This kind of looks a little bit like plastic, but it's not plastic. It's an anodized aluminum that has been polished. And a lot of people have been saying there's gonna be scratches on this baby. The jet black just gets fingerprinty. Well, I don't use my phones naked, so that's why I chose to go with the jet black edition because you know it's an iPhone 7 if you got the jet black model here. Let's go ahead and put that baby down right there. And you can see right here, here is our charging brick for the device. Of course, Apple has not caught up to Samsung yet or any other Android manufacturers for that matter for the fast charging. And you can see right here, here is our Apple Lightning earphones. If we go over here to the back side, you can see there is our adapter. So your 3.5 millimeter headset adapter. And this has not been a problem. Most of us now have Bluetooth headphones like these right here, Zinsoko for example. These are some Bluetooth headphones right here. And it doesn't really matter I think too much with that, you know, 3.5 millimeter headset jack as long as you're using Bluetooth headphones. Now for more um, heavy users who use the, the jack for other things like microphones and stuff like that, that could be a huge issue for you. But I think it's the way of the future and I don't think Apple's going to ban it much more. I mean, I don't think they're gonna, I mean, I don't think they're gonna bring it back is what I'm trying to say. They're not going to bring back the 3.5 millimeter headset jack. So let's go ahead and pull this baby off. Whoa, almost dropped it right there on first blush and you can see very shiny, very beautiful to look at here. And um, I kind of do like the shinier look. That's why I like the Samsung Galaxy Note 5 so much. And uh, I probably will pit this against the Samsung Galaxy Note 5, but this just feels beautiful guys. Absolutely gorgeous. And this is probably the cleanest it's going to look before I get my greasy paws all over this baby right here. Let's go ahead and put those plastics off to the side here and leave the box right here. So 5.5 inch retina display here for the iPhone 7 Plus. As expected, there is the Apple logo showing in black here 
5.5 inch retina display capacitive touch button here no more physical press button here the dual camera system with the portrait lens and it's, this is basically like a mini dslr here on the iphone 7 plus so if you're going to be getting an iphone 7 plus you're getting probably the best camera on any smartphone you can see there is my fingerprint already i believe i'm not sure if you guys can see that right there but it has this nice apple logo here which is metal here and you can see ola ola I don't know if we can get in right here. I don't want to do all this signing in stuff. But you know what? I'm going to pause this baby, get inside the iPhone, and I'll come right back in just a second for you guys. All right, guys. So we are now in the iPhone 7 Plus Jet Black here. And let's go into settings and see what version of iOS we are running here. So we have iOS 10.2, I do have to update to 10.1 or 10.2.1, as well as 10.3 that should be coming here soon. But you can see, if you do decide to get 128 gig, there's an available capacity of 117.06 gigabytes before you put anything on. You can see zero, zero, and zero. So of course you're gonna get iOS, you're gonna get it in a very clean, you know, simple to use manner, bloatware free, typical iOS stuff here for the iPhone 7 Plus here. So my first impressions already you can see fingerprint smudges are happening on the Jet Black, which I already knew was gonna happen. I don't, don't really care about keeping it maintained. I think it's beautiful enough that I won't mind keeping cleaning it. And I did get a case for it already to protect this investment here. But you can see right there that dual camera is the biggest difference with the iPhone 7 Plus versus the iPhone 6S Plus, which I will be comparing these guys together. And um, this is actually my main smartphone right now and I think the 7 plus is going to take my sim card over that guy for sure I mean the only thing I could see that's a downgrade really is probably the, the missing of the headphone jack which is kind of played out by now it really isn't that much of a problem if you got Bluetooth headphones it, it just really isn't a problem in my opinion but this home button down here is ultra speedy here for the iPhone 7 plus I mean it just really is quick here and you also do have the a10 fusion chipset in here as well as three gigabytes of RAM so this is probably one of the fastest if not these fastest smartphones on the market here with the iPhone 7 plus and I'm surely going to go ahead and compare this to multiple other iPhones here on the channel and uh, Let's check out that camera though. Let's go ahead and go into the camera before we end this video up here. And you can see portrait mode is still in beta here on 10.2, but it does work pretty well here for the iPhone 7 Plus. Here, let me put the iPhone 6S Plus here. And you can see, let's see how fast it takes a picture. Let's go ahead right there. Boom, boom. And you got that zoom mode right here. So you can zoom in and you can still get that full resolution shot here with the iPhone 7 Plus in 2X zoom here. So pretty nice stuff. And you can also zoom in like this with this little meter here up to 10X. So you can really zoom in quite far here on the iPhone 7 Plus, which is gonna be a nice, you know, phone for photographers. So if you're a photographer, the 7 Plus is the way to go. And um, already it's starting to feel a little bit slimy. So if you just got done eating some greasy food, this baby is not gonna be the iPhone for you you probably might want to get the matte additions if you're gonna go ahead and do you know eat greasy food all the time I don't recommend it but if you're doing that this is probably not the phone for you here and you do have 3d touch here as well that's not a new feature from the Apple iPhone 6s plus but it does seem a little bit snappier here on the iPhone 7 plus but this is the newer model and I did decide to go with the 128 gigabyte model of the iPhone 7 plus just because it is you know has faster write speed um, I think unbox therapy did a video where he tested the write speeds and read speeds of the iPhone 7s and found that the you know the iPhone 7 with the 32 gigabyte capacity was actually slower like eight times slower than the 128 gig and that's exactly why I decided to go with the 128 gig here on my iPhone 7 plus I was gonna go with the 32 but I thought about it last minute and decided you know what just go with the 128 so we don't got to deal with those headaches of the right speeds especially seeing as I'm a you know a creative type person here doing this whole YouTube thing and Instagram and social media so yeah basically that's it for the unboxing my first impressions beautiful smartphone it does seem like already like it's a pretty nice upgrade over my 6s plus let me know what you guys want to see on the iphone 7 plus i did just get the galaxy s7 which we're still going to cover tons of videos with that bad boy as well do you want to see it against the iphone 7 plus drop that down below and let us know anything else you want to see on this baby 
And uh, like I say, I'm not going to tell you if you should buy this guy right here in this video because I want to do a full review on this guy as well as a camera test and pit it against other phones before I go ahead and tell you if it is going to be worth your buying dollar here in the year of 2017. The iPhone 8 is a ways off. It's still like eight months off. So this phone is still pretty darn fresh right now. But that's pretty much going to wrap this unboxing video up. This was Nick here helping to master your technology. If you enjoyed this video, please do me a favor. Go ahead and click the like button for me. It would be appreciated. Subscribe to the channel for more technology videos like this if you're interested. We got tons of technology content coming your way. And uh, have a great day wherever you are. Be sure to be well and peace.